Oh, uh, once again, the horrible rules of golf strike. And this is, you've seen this. You see it all over social media right now. It's Dylan Fratelli's uh, second shot on the sixth hole over there at Harbor Town. Okay. He, okay. He hits his drive, his tee ball, into a tree. And it doesn't come all the way out of the tree. It's hanging in this Spanish moss in the tree. Okay, so it, the ball is well above his head in the tree. And he, there it is. What are your options? All right, you can take an unplayable lie and go with the unplayable lie rules, right? Take a stroke penalty, drop your ball, play it out of the bunker, you'd be hitting three, you drop two, you hit three out of that waste area bunker that he's in. You get uh, two clubs from the nearest point of relief or from you get two clubs from where the ball lies, which is in a tree. So you go to the ground, two clubs from there, I would imagine. And then you could have done that. All right, one stroke penalty, no big deal, whatever. Hit three, probably not on the green, chip up, that's four, one or two putt for a bogey, double bogey. Okay, that's a, that's a fine option. But then you're looking at that and you're like, well, I can reach it and the ball's sitting there. Now, and that's what he does. Like he takes like a, a three wood or something, has the club over his head, whacks the ball out into the fairway, hits it on the green, makes his putt for par, right? He saves a par, like miracle, miraculous par. Love it. Everybody's like, hey, this is fantastic. Oh, uh, official comes up to him. Oh, by the way, uh, you violated rule. What was it? Uh, 10-1C, 10, 10 uh, which is you cannot straddle the line of, you cannot like straddle your line of play and hit a ball. There's a few exceptions, but you cannot do that. Let's just say that, okay, you can't straddle line. Blah, blah, blah. Now, how else, this is what's so dumb about the rules of golf, okay? There, there should be, like, okay, like in basketball right now, you got the playoffs. What do the refs do in the playoffs? They typically swallow the whistle a little bit more than normal. They don't call everything. They're like, oh, I'm going to let some stuff slide here because these guys are giving their all. It's a playoff. They're the best teams. We want the basketball to shine here. In golf, man, I wish that happened. I wish a ref could just swallow the whistle in golf and say, we're not going to call this. Let's use some common sense here. And that would have saved many people much grief over the years if just some common sense was thrown into this equation. But unfortunately, uh, for whatever reason, they're like, oh, oh, yeah, you cannot like alter or I interpret the rules on the fly at all, which is so ridiculous in my opinion. You know that rule was written for a ball on the ground or below your knees. Uh, you know, below your waist, like don't straddle the line. Yeah, I get it. Cause you, you don't, and it's really for putting. They don't want you standing a certain way because you look ridiculous. You can hold a long putter. That's like, you know, longer than your body and put a, a you know, weird looking putt and not anchor, even though you're anchoring, this is ridiculous. You could do that. And, but you can't you, you straddle the line of play. And that's what essentially he did by standing behind the ball, holding his club here and, and swinging it at the ball, dangling in the Spanish moss, knocking it out into the fairway. How else was he supposed to play this shot? Dude plays a shot, right? So you could climb up a tree and that's happened before and hit your ball out of a tree. He could have stood to the side and swung sideways kind of like a baseball bat at a tee ball that's above your head. He could have done that. That would have totally been fine too. But because he stood behind it and hit it out, the, the powers that be assessed him a two-stroke penalty, which once again goes to show you that the rules of golf are so ridiculous sometimes that you cannot just say, you know what, just let's just forget it. Dude made a par. Don't worry about it. Here's what's funny. 
This is the crazy thing. When you watch the video, and you got to search around the internet for this, there's a point at which, one, first of all, Dylan, he might have wanted to call a rules official over, which he may have done. And I, I, I didn't see that, but there's a point where he's looking off to the side and he's talking to somebody and you can't really hear the audio. We got to get this because, and, and let's just say, you cannot find this video on the PGA Tour website. They, they don't want you to see this, but it's, you could find it. It's just not going to be on the PGA Tour site. It's not on their shot link. It's not on their YouTube channel. It's nowhere because they want to cover things up so that you can't hear, you can't see, you can't interpret, you can't do nothing. I guess that's my, that's my, I, it's not there, even though it should be there. So he's, Dylan's looking over and he's talking to somebody because his ball is dangling in the Spanish moss, which is moving. It's also, it's not, um, his ball is in motion. You cannot hit a ball in motion, but they, they don't call that. So he, he's talking to somebody and it seems to be like a rules official because you would, in that situation, look, guys can't even take a, uh, a drop out of a plugged lie sometimes, or if there's a water uh, accumulating on the ground, you have casual water, guys are calling in. Like you, these are drops you can totally do without a rules official. You hit it in the hazard, you know the rule, take, you know, you know the, the rule, take your drop. But these guys always call a rule official in. So he's talking to somebody off to the side, talking about his ball moving. And so I don't know what the guy said, but you can hit a ball in motion in the water. Like if it's oscillating in the water, that's a specific uh, circumstance in the rules of golf where you can hit a ball, let's say in motion. Or if it's oscillating but not moving in its position, you can also hit it. But this thing is dangling in Spanish moss. It's going to be not fixed. It's not stationary. It's in it totally in motion. So either the rules official said, hey, you just have to wait for it to be still and then you could swing. And if it moves in your backswing, that's okay. That's not a penalty. So some, somebody said something, but they never once said to him, oh, 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 hey, by the way, you can't stand like that. They Maybe he didn't ask. Maybe they can't tell him. I don't know. But a rules official might want to say, hey, just FYI, you can't straddle the line of play. Uh, so you're just going to have to be careful how you stand. They don't tell him that, which you should. If you're a rules official, you should kind of warn the guy of any infractions that he's doing. If you see him standing there, you might want to go, oh, Dylan, by the way, that would be a penalty if you were to swing it like that technically by the rules. But the ball emotion piece, that's not uh, in play here because uh, it should have been in play, but it wasn't. Either way, this is why the rules of golf are ridiculous and somebody should on the spot say, hey, dude, we're not going to... Um, call him on this because that rule we're going to interpret it right now and say that rule is meant for balls like on the ground right like putting and things like that it's not meant for balls uh suspended in midair somehow by some freak moss incident that only happens once every 25 years like that's ridiculous so poor dylan luckily you know it only cost him two thousand dollars those two strokes when you're that far down the leaderboard it's not that costly but it's still a two thousand dollar mistake he finished at plus one when he could have finished one under it's a two stroke penalty and hey when you're making minimum the minimum uh, or you know the least amount you made the cut but you finished like last so you made you don't make that much money i think he made like sixteen thousand dollars in prize money it's pretty good but Given the expenses, I mean, missing the cut might have saved you more money than making the cut and making the least amount of money. Depends on how much you spent that week, I guess. But poor dude, that cost you some FedEx points. That cost you a couple grand. Cost your caddy some money. Cost everybody some money. And that's just a ridiculous, ridiculous rule. Let me know your thoughts about this kind of stuff. Comment below. See you guys soon.